Why be a minimalist? Because it puts you in control of your stuff and not the other way around. Why hack your house? Well, once you get it simplified and decluttered, you might already think it's pretty awesome, but there's a few things that we have done that have made it function so much better and I'm excited to share those with you today. Well, hi, I'm Dawn from The Minimal Mom, and we've called ourselves minimalists for about seven years now. And to tell you the truth, we decluttered over 80% of the stuff in our house, and I do not miss any of it. None of it. <laughs> so we're gonna go to the bathroom and start with number one, which is to make your own drawers. Now, the reason we love drawers is because you pull it out and you can see everything that's in there. Cabinets, on the other hand, get a little tricky because it's so easy to lose stuff in the back depending on how deep they are. So what we do is we create our own drawers by using containers. So I can very easily pull this out, see everything that's in here, and nothing is lost in the back. But let me show you how it works in the kitchen too. Okay, so lower kitchen cabinets like this are kind of a pain, right? It's, it's really hard uh, to get everything from back in there. But again, if we'll just find a basket that fits in this space, it's like I've created a drawer. There's other great drawer op options sliding things on Amazon, but for $6, this is really easy. And again, I don't lose anything in the back. I can very easily see everything that I have. All right, number two is to befriend boundaries. So I just showed you my drawers and we could get frustrated and say, why doesn't all the medicine fit in the medicine drawer or container? Or we could say, I'm just gonna simplify down to what comfortably fits inside. And when we do this, we acknowledge the limits of our own unique personal space. And so what do I mean? All of the cabinets, drawers, cupboards in our home are only about halfway full if that. And what this does is it allows us to move stuff around easily, to see what's in there, to take stuff out and put it back away without having to juggle things around. So if you want your home to be easy to tidy and easy to pick up, make sure your cabinets are not over full so it's just as easy to put stuff away as it is to leave it out. Okay, I really like this next one and that is to condense and contain. So why don't we head into our other bathroom and I'll show you what it is that I mean. So I've been a fan of using trays to kind of contain and corral stuff, but I never quite understood why until I heard it explained by Caroline Winkler. And she said basically it's all about visual simplification, that you're taking a bunch of individual things so it looks like a bunch of stuff, and when you put it on a tray, in effect, you're turning it into one single thing. And so if you do have a space where random stuff accumulates, putting a tray, some kind of shallow basket there can really make a big difference. It also assigns that thing a home and lets you know when it's too full and it's time to get rid of a few things. All right, this next home hack comes from Cass from Clutterbug and she says, make sure to have a donation box or bin in every single clothing closet in your house. And so if you put something on and get dressed for the day and maybe you make it out the door and wear it all day, maybe you just put it on and take it back off. But if it does not fit, if you don't love it, if you don't feel good in it, if you're having to adjust it, just throw it directly into the donation box within your own closet. It has to be just as easy to donate something as to toss it on the floor, hang it back up, throw it in the laundry hamper. So if it's still clean, just toss it in the donation box. But I love what Cass says to also have these in your children's bedrooms because what happens? They grow out of something, they send it through the laundry, and even though it's already clean, right? They put it on, realize it's too small, put it in the laundry hamper. We wash it, we put it back again, and then the cycle continues, right? And so I wanna have a space in their bedrooms where they can put stuff that doesn't fit, that they don't like, that might be stained, and from there, I will sort it out and decide what can be donated, what can be sold, what needs to be tossed. Their only responsibility is to make sure it gets into the bin, and I will take it from there. And that makes this whole process of keeping their clothing simplified really easy too. And this video is very special today because it is part of a collaboration with lots of other great friends for Get Organized HQ, which is an online organizing conference. It's more than just organizing. There are over a hundred of us participating in this conference, but I have to tell you the most crazy part. So when I went in to like get the pretty pictures and stuff to show you, I saw this one and I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> like person number two, I don't know that they're actually in any kind of importance, but I'm like, 
I am the second picture in on an advertisement for an organizing conference. And so if you've known me for any amount of time, you know that I am very much a former messy person. So to see my name listed on an organizing conference, it still just blows my mind. But here's the hope I wanna give you, that if you are messy, if you have felt extremely defeated in this area, if you felt like I'm never gonna be able to keep up, I don't know what's wrong with me, maybe I'm lazy, maybe whatever, I just wanna tell you that I fully believe in you. And so for me, I just had to like really reduce the inventory in my house till it got to a point that I could manage it and I could stay on top of it. It doesn't matter how much stuff other people have in their house or my mom had or my aunt or my neighbor. I had to get my house simplified down to a point where it worked for me. And so I'm really excited to be a part of Get Organized HQ because it's it's about much more than just organization. In fact, in my session that takes place on Tuesday, I don't know, this day, <laughs> um, I'm talking about guilty clutter. So how do we move that stuff out that really can hang us up and make us feel bad? So Laura and I get to visit her on that. It was a really fun conversation. I'm super excited to, for you to see it and you can see it for free um, along with all of these other great sessions by these other wonderful women. And so I'm gonna put all the details down below. So there's a link down below where you can just sign up and uh, we'll get to hang out together on that Tuesday night, which will be really fun. And of course, if you can't make it live, you can always watch the replays as well, but it's a really cool event. And so just think it's so well done and has so much valuable content. So take what you need, attend the sessions that'll be helpful, leave the rest if you need to, <laughs> that's totally fine, but sign up for free down below. Okay, now everybody struggles with paper in their home, right? I mean, it, it's universal, <laughs> this problem that we have with paper. And so what has radically changed the paper system solution in our home is a paper time will tell bin. All right, so in here is where I keep my time will tell bin. I'll put like plant catalogs. These were some paint samples that I got, but where do you keep stuff like that? I'm not keeping it forever, so I didn't want to archive it. So this was a great spot for them. And this is where like we just got this, um, Let's see, how to stop wild parsnips from spreading, right? Like, so if I thought like, hey, I would like to look at that, I just don't have time to look at it now, I can put it in there and it'll still be there. And so if we will have one central place where we can toss them with very little thought involved, it is gonna eradicate about 90% of the paper around your home. Now, I know what you're thinking, but the bin's gonna fill up, <laughs> right? As the bin fills up and you notice that it's getting kind of full, what we do is we flip it over and we start at the bottom going through the stuff. And what you're gonna find is most of it has timed itself out. And so this stuff that at the time I didn't know what to do with now, it's become a non-decision. It's already expired or timed itself out. All right, the next hack is to do a clothing experiment. Because I know that I probably can't convince you to go down to 33 items in your closet right now, but would you be willing to do an experiment? Chances are you're already a minimalist when it comes to your clothing, right? Meaning that we wear the same thing day in and day out, even though we have all of this other clothing in our closet. So I love what Courtney from Project 333 does, where she challenges you to pare down to 33 items and everything else, literally everything else, you just put into a box, a bin, a garbage bag, and you set it aside. It makes it completely stress-free, what is the word? Stress-free, risk-free. There is no risk involved with this, right? You're just setting it aside, seeing if you miss it. And in the meantime, you get to have an extremely streamlined closet and not suffer from decision fatigue every morning when you go to get dressed. All right, the next hack is to discard duplicates. So one of the easiest ways to simplify your home is to just get rid of all of the doubles. If I had a nickel for every person that has said, what, you have one spatula? I have like 12 and I know you do, <laughs> right? Unless we've been hanging out for a while and you've simplified them. Uh, we have so many duplicates in our home and the problem is we never question it. We never say, why do I have 12 rubber spatulas, right? And so if you will start looking for all of the duplicates in your home, you're gonna find a lot of stuff that you can very easily and confidently declutter. We have all right, I went back and forth if we should talk about toys in this video, but here's what I'm gonna tell you. Minimalists know that kids don't need toys to thrive. Marketing, society, grandparents tell us we need our kids to have lots of toys to have a happy childhood and the truth is is that if you will research it yourself you are gonna find that kids thrive in simplified spaces where they can use their imagination kids don't need toys to be occupied they need their imagination and the awesome part is their imagination goes with them wherever they go that's all I'm gonna say on that. There's so much more I could say on that, but we're gonna let it go. I encourage you to research it on your own so that you have your own convictions around toys. 
I'm just the I'm just the messenger, right? That I'm just the messenger. <laughs> My next hack is to master the two minute tidy. And so to tidy means to pick up, to straighten up, to, to put stuff back away. It doesn't mean to deep clean your house. It means just to pick up. And so the two minute tidy is great because it keeps your house picked up. But the real magic of it is that it shows us the things that are homeless. We know that every item in our house should have a home, somewhere to put it away. And so if then when you're tidying, you're like, oh, why are there always library books to return on the bench or Amazon returns? And if day after day you're trying to pick it up and you're like, why are these things always here? Then the light bulb goes off. Oh, because we don't actually have a spot for returns. And then you can make a spot for returns, right? So it shows us which items in our house are homeless or not even worth making a spot for. So then you have a choice whether you just want to declutter it and get rid of it or make a permanent home in your house for it. All right, and my last hack is one of my favorite. Now, we can put all of the best hacks in place in our house, but if there's still too much stuff coming in, we're never gonna be able to stay on top of it. So how do we stop the inflow? I love this question. Anytime you go to buy something, ask yourself, if no one was gonna see this item, would I still get it? And this helps us to know, am I buying it just because I don't know, I wanna impress other people, I wanna look good, I want people to think I'm cool or fancy or I don't know, whatever thing. Or is it something that is truly going to benefit me and improve my life? Why don't I give you a quick example? Uh, this plant is my favorite, I like that one too, but this one's my favorite, isn't it so cool? So this, would I buy this? When I saw this, I fell in love with it, it was much smaller at the time, but um, I would have bought this over and over again because I enjoy having it in our house, I enjoy maintaining it and taking care of it, and I love seeing it every single day. But uh, would I buy this couch again if no one would see it? Probably not. <laughs> I love it, it's beautiful, but if I weren't inviting you into my home all the time, I, I wouldn't care. I would probably have found something that was a little bit more comfortable for everyone to sit on. Now, it's not wrong to have beautiful things, things that we enjoy looking at, but it can be a really helpful question before we bring more stuff into our house. All right, so these are some of my favorite hacks and tips when it comes to keeping a minimalist home. But at the end of the day, the thing that has made the biggest difference is what I started with by reducing the inventory in our home by 85%. Our home is peaceful, it's easy to manage, and ironically enough, we still have every single thing that we need to operate a house and to do the things that we need to do in here. It's 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 crazy, right? That we can get rid of so much and still have everything that we need. And so I want that for you too. So if you haven't done so, I'd love it if you subscribe so we can spend more time together. And it truly would be my pleasure to get to help you declutter your home as well. All right, all those details for Get Organized HQ are down below. I hope to see you there as well, but I love you. I hope you have a really good day and I'll see you again soon.